What's up, people? How are you doing? My name is Dani, and welcome to the renovation of Katerina Lynx's house. The last renovation, or a townie's house, actually. From now on, if I want to renovate anything, I will have to renovate empty houses or community lots. Well, I already know I want to renovate the museum in Willow Creek because I want to turn it into a cemetery too, but after that, I really don't know where my inspiration will take me. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Now, about this house, this one was a pretty simple renovation, actually. I mean, it's obvious, given how short this video is, right? It's just that I think the house is really, really pretty. In fact, I was even a bit worried at first because I was like, I really like this house the way it is. I can think of any way to make it better other than changing the color swatches. What do I do? Ah! Like... <laughs> I didn't even delete all the furniture and stuff like I usually do. I probably wouldn't do it anyway because Katerina doesn't have a lot of money saved up, so deleting all of that stuff just to possibly buy the same item at a higher price was not an option. So I kept most of the furniture, only changed a couple swatches, got a few extras and that was it. I didn't even really change the floor plan because there was only one part of it that was bugging me a little and that was that L shape corridor with the stairs. I didn't like the way the stairs were placed on that corridor. I thought it was very weird so I tried to fix it. At first I tried to fold the stairs into a tight U shape and fit them into the shorter end of the L so that corner wouldn't be so weird. But the wall on the second floor, the one facing the balcony, was right in the way. I could push that wall to the side by one tile, sealing some space from the balcony, but then I would lose access to the balcony. There would be no space left to place a door and like there's no way I would place a door to the balcony in the bathroom. So yeah, I had to give up on that idea. It took me a while to figure this out but eventually I decided to just delete the wall separating the stairs from the living room and create a new wall on the other side of the stairs separating it from the corridor. I was left with two weird tiles right next to the bathroom but I thought well Making the bathroom bigger wouldn't hurt, and that's what I did. I also noticed at a certain point that there was no dining table in the house. I was so confused when I didn't see it. I thought I was blind or something, but no, there is really no table. I wanted one though, so I had to figure out where to put it. There was not a lot of space for it. I thought about placing it in the living room first, but I couldn't rearrange all the furniture in a way that would make sense. Then I thought about the kitchen, but there was no space there either with all the cat stuff. And finally, there was only what was left of the corridor. For obvious reasons, it was out of the question to place a dining table in a tiny ass corridor right next to the bathroom. I mean, the dining table is still next to the bathroom, but it's different now because now that part belongs to the kitchen. I basically deleted the wall between the kitchen and the corridor to expand the kitchen so then I could fit a dining table there without a problem. Oh, also, there were no beds for the cats. Katerina has four cats, but there was not even one pet bed in sight. I'm assuming that the cats can sleep on the cat trees, but like, it, it's still weird. And I'm just assuming they can sleep there because for some reason I haven't played with cats yet. And that, that's also very weird, because I'm a cat person myself, you know, I love cats. I love animals, actually, except for snakes and mosquitoes and flies. I'm not scared of mosquitoes and flies, to be clear, I just think they are extremely annoying. But I am terrified of snakes. I can't even see a picture of a snake or a toy that looks like a snake. I know it's weird for someone who calls themselves a goth to not like snakes, but I mean, I can't control it, okay? I don't even know where this fear came from. It's not like I had a bad experience with a snake before or something like that. The only snakes I ever saw in real life were either dead or stuck inside a terrarium. And that's a good thing, because I still break out in a cold sweat whenever I see them. And I see them quite often, because I live in a village. We have a pretty big garden, a pretty big backyard, there's a small crop field right in front of my house. So yeah, I know there are plenty of snakes around me. I just do the best I can to not think about it. I like all the other goth animals though. I like cats, I like bats, I like spiders. Well, I mean, like might be a stretch. I'm okay with spiders. 
as long as they don't start crawling on top of me, of course. Oh, one animal that a lot of people don't like, but I do, are snails. They are so freaking adorable. I love them so much. I hate slugs though. I forgot to mention those. I hate slugs. They are disgusting. I caught one in my room once. I almost freaked out. I stepped on another one at the entrance of my house too. Me and my family are still trying to figure out how those things get inside the house, for real. I mean, them getting to the entrance is not that surprising because the bowl we used to feed the neighbor's cat is right by the door, outside, and the slugs are attracted to it. They get inside the bowl to eat the little remains of whatever we give to the cat, you know? Now, we have a little, uh, what's the name of that? Thing. It's like a roll pillow that you put on the floor against the door so things like bugs and slugs won't get inside the house by crawling under the door. We have one of those. But sometimes we are in a hurry or something, we don't notice that we left a little corner uncovered and that's how the slugs get to the entrance. My bedroom is very far away from the entrance though and I don't open the window that often, especially during the rainy seasons when the slugs are more active, so I really don't know how that disgusting thing got into my room. But it was there, going up the wall, right now next to my bookshelf. But why am I talking about slugs? I thought that maybe I could talk about cats since this is Katerina Lynx's house, but my brain said, no, let's talk about disgusting things instead. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And at this point, I don't even think I will have the time to talk about cats because this video is almost over. Genius. It's funny how these things go, isn't it? The previous speed build was super long, but I had to cut the voiceover short because I didn't know what else to talk about, while for this one, which is even 10 minutes long, I could be sitting here talking for 20 minutes non-stop because, oh boy, stuff happened this week. In fact, one of the things that happened was that EA released another pack for free. Yeah, the Packyard Stuff Pack is currently free to download both for PC and console. It will stay like that until April 13th, so if you don't have it yet, don't let this opportunity go by. I already recorded my reaction video and everything. It was a lot shorter than I thought it would be, though. That was weird. But it was also a good thing, because then I had the time to record this speed build on the same day. That's why the speed build is going up first, and I will have some extra time to edit the reaction and everything. Anyway! Time to shut up because this video is coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe because I'll be back in a couple days and you don't want to miss a thing. Trust me. See you then. Bye!